Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. Now in the early days, I never really saw the value in thumbnails for videos. I thought that they were an extra step and it was just more time consumed. And I also thought, well, maybe a thumbnail makes a video look spammy. But in today's world, where most people are using, where a growing percentage of people are using mobile devices to browse YouTube, most often they're looking at the thumbnail and not necessarily a, a text description. So how do you make the perfect thumbnail? Now I've started doing it and I'm not an artist and I do use a Mac computer. So I was, I was looking for something that I could quickly pull an image in and I could add some, some very bold text to a thumbnail and, and make it somewhat templated. So there's a program I use and you can check the link within this video's description because I've got some other information about my video editing there. Uh, but the program that I use for my thumbnails is called Pixelmator or Pixelmator. I think it's Pixelmator. I may have mispronounced it. But it's just a, uh, I felt it was an affordable application for the Mac. And basically all I do, I create a new image that's 1920 by 1080 pixels. 1920 by 1080, of course, that's high definition. So I create that size and then I either I either screenshot within Final Cut Pro, you can save a, a screenshot of your video. I do that a lot when I'm, when I'm filming in 4K, so I'll get to the perfect frame uh, within Final Cut Pro 10, and I'll do save a screenshot. I'll take that, which is in 4K, and I'll, I'll resize it to 1920 by 1080. And then I've got that that I can use as a thumb. Or I'll just get a still photo from my camera out of the Photos application on my Mac, and then I'll resize it to 1920 by 1080. So that's the first step is getting it the right size. And then all you do, based upon the colors of your image that you're using, the 1920 by 1080 image, based upon the colors in it, just find a uh, font that, that's bold and a font color that really stands out against that image. Now usually I'll use like white, black, red, those sorts of colors because they seem to be, uh, in, in most situations, one of those three will probably work and it'll stand out. Uh, something else I do in the Pixelmator app, if, if you decide to use that one as well, after I post the text, you know, I'll get a bold, bold looking font, I'll drag the text tool from left side to right side so that it fully extends, you know, the whole width of the uh, 1920 by 1080 image. And then I'll center the text. So that just makes everything centered, looks nice, and Sometimes if it's something I want to have subtext, I'll do the, the really bold where people can see. It'll be like, you know, Phantom 3 video. It's a drone video, Phantom 3. And then down below in smaller text in a different color, I may put, you know, testing the propeller guards or something along those lines. So that when they see that video, when they see that thumbnail rather, just based upon the picture, they know, they know what to expect from the video. And based upon the text, they have more clues. And then that way, if the person's strictly a visual person, they're looking at the thumbnail and they see a picture of a drone, then that may encourage them to click. But maybe they're not strictly visual and they see a picture of a drone, but that's not enough for their mind. So they want to know, hey, this is about the propeller guards. So then maybe the addition of that text is what made that person click and watch your video. So thumbnails are important and from what I've experienced, they seem to seem to have become increasingly more important. And if you look at your, uh, excuse me, if you look at your YouTube analytics, you may find by looking at analytics that some of your videos, and this is something I encourage you to do: do some videos without thumbnails, then do some with that are of similar topics, and see how quickly the video with the thumbnail that has the text and the high quality image versus the video that just pulled a default thumbnail when the video was uploaded. See how those similar videos perform. You know, the ones with the thumbnail and the ones without the thumbnail. And you may see that the thumbnail uh, is performing better and it's likely because of the presence of the thumbnail with the text. So I hope this video is of value. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. It's youtube.com forward slash Y'all have a good day.